master to the devotees the feeling of i and mine is ignorance people say that rani rasmani built the kali temple but nobody says it was the work of god they say that such and such a person established the brahmo samaj but nobody says it was founded through the will of god this feeling that i am the doer is ignorance on the contrary the idea o oh god thou art the doer and i am only an instrument thou art the operator and i am the machine is knowledge after attaining knowledge a man says o oh god nothing belongs to me neither this house of worship nor this kali temple nor this brahmo samaj these all are thine wife son and family do not belong to me they are all thine to love these objects regarding them as one's own is maya but to love all things is daya compassion to love only the members of the brahmo samaj or of one's own family is maya to love one's own countrymen is maya but to love the people of all countries to love the members of all religions is daya such love comes from love of god from daya maya entangles a man and turns him away from god but through daya one realizes god sages like shukadeva and narada always cherished daya in their hearts pratap revert sir are those who live with you making progress in spiritual life master i tell people that there is nothing wrong in the life of the world but they must live in the world as a maid servant lives in her master's house referring to her master's house she says that is our house but her real home is perhaps in a far away village pointing out her master's house to others she says no doubt this is our house but in her heart she knows very well that it doesn't belong to her and that her own house is in a far away village she brings up her master's son and says my hori has grown very naughty or my hori doesn't like sweets though she repeats my hori with her lips yet she knows in her heart that hori doesn't belong to her that he is her master's son thus i say to those who visit me why don't you live in the world there is no harm in that but always keep your mind on god know for certain that house family and property are not yours they are god's your real home is in god 
Also, I ask them to pray always with a longing heart for the love of God's lotus feet. Again, the conversation turned to the English people. A devotee said, "Sir, I understand that nowadays the pundits of England." do not believe in the existence of god pratap however they may talk i don't believe that any of them is a real atheist many of them have had to admit that there is a great power behind the activities of the universe masta well that is enough they believe in shakti don't they then why should they be atheist pratap they also believe in the moral government of the universe pratap was now about to take leave of the master master to pratap what more shall i say to you my only request is that you do not involve yourself in quarrels and dissensions any more another thing it is woman and gold that keeps men away from god that is the barrier don't you find that everyone has nothing but praise for his own wife all laugh a wife may be good or bad but if you ask her husband about her he will always say oh she is very good at this point pratap bade the master good bye He did not wait to hear the end of Sri Rama Krishna's words about the renunciation of woman and gold. Those burning words touched the hearts of the devotees and were carried away on the wind through the gently rustling leaves in the garden. A few minutes later, Muni Mulik said to Sri Rama Krishna, Sir it is time for you to leave for Dukhineshwar Today Keshab's mother and the other ladies of his family are going to the temple garden to visit you They will be hurt if they do not find you there Keshab had passed away only a few months before His old mother and his other relatives wanted to visit the master master to moni molik don't hurry me please i didn't sleep well i can't rush they are going to dokhineshwar what am i to do about it they will stroll in the garden and enjoy it thoroughly after resting a little the master was ready to leave for dokhineshwar he was thinking of surendra's welfare he visited the different rooms softly chanting the holy name of god suddenly he stood still and said i didn't eat any luchi at meal time bring me a little now he ate only a crumb and said there is much meaning in my asking for the luchi if i should remember that i hadn't eaten any at surendra's house then i should want to come back for it 
or laugh. Monimolik. That would have been nice. Then we too should have come with you. The devotees laughed.